Hello, my name is Austin Oltmans. I'm from NDSU. And this is Derek. I'm Derek Lehman. I'm from the South Dakota School of Mines Technology. And we worked at DigiKey's summer internship program where we made a self-driving fish tank where the fish drives the tank. You can see here we have the tank. It has an array of sensors at the bottom which detect the fish's location. It has a differential drive setup running through Kinetis motor controllers. Yep. And the control board is a Renesis DKS124. It detects the fish's location using the sensors, and then based on the fish's location, it will drive either forward, backward, turn left, turn right, or anywhere in between. I think the idea kind of stemmed from a hamster ball. A hamster can roll the ball around. Why can't a fish have the same thing? For our sensing solution, we used a photo gate made out of a light sensor and a discrete LED, and we used an array of 15 of them, three across and five long. And how it works is the control board, the Renesis DKS124, establishes a baseline for each of the sensors, each of the 15 sensors at the top, and then it samples the light reading as fast as it can, and if it notices a big difference between the current sensor value and the established baseline, it reads that as a fish detection. Um, so the drive system is based off of the KV31F from NXP. Um, it runs Kinetis Motor Suite, which is a tool that allows you to tune your motors um, very precisely. The motors on here are three-phase brushless motors um, running at 4,000 RPMs, uh, powered by 24 volts. The Kinetis Motor Suite uh, uses ADRC, which is Active Disturbance Rejection Control, which is a very precise way to accelerate and decelerate motors um, based on varying loads, uh, similar to a PID controller, uh, but your response times and overshoot are much, much faster and much lower. Um, another key aspect of our self-driving fish tank is the collision detection and avoidance sensors that we have in place. We have some low-cost ultrasonic sensors that can detect if there is a wall or a person that it's about to run into, and if it detects that, it will start not going in that direction in an effort to avoid such a collision. And another sensor that we have on here is a small inertial measurement unit, and that can detect once a collision has happened. It can cut power to the motors so that it doesn't keep trying to drive into the obstacle. And all of that is running through the Renesis board, which uses its ThreadX real-time operating system, RTOS. Renesis went through great lengths to make that software easy to use. And so for the most part, in their development environment, you can create threads and messaging interfaces to go between the threads relatively easy. So the fish is a Dumbo Beta. We've named him test subject number one. He has been the first and only test subject. Uh, has not been harmed throughout the development of this device, and he's purple. One issue we ran into during the development of this project was there was too much ambient light coming in to the tank from outside sources, and so to mitigate that, we put a layer of black tape around the top to cut down on ambient light coming in and reflecting off of the surface of the water and into the sensors. Much like a parasol. Another um, thing to point out is most of these parts came from DigiKey's fast library. Um, all of the sensors, wires, connectors, cabling, uh, just Motors, about batteries. yeah, just about everything except for the fish tank. DigiKey, it turns out, does not sell fish tanks. Um, another key part of this project was the control board that we made to interface with the Renesis DKS124. It's a simple board with some connectors and some muxes and some toggle switches and a joystick. Um, we used KiCad to lay out the board and import the footprints and draw the traces and eventually it was made here at DigiKey. The fish tank, um, I assume you're wondering how long it'll go. Uh, the, the batteries on there are planned to last a, a full day so you could have this thing running around for 12 hours at a conference or, or something like that. The top speed on it is about two miles an hour. So if it does try to run away on you, it's uh, 
uh, you should be able to catch it. When, when the fish finally learns how to, how to drive it functionally, um, he won't be able to run away from home. So I assume you're wondering what the coconut is for. The coconut has no functional purpose other than letting us know which way is forward. It also, it also looks pretty cool. Helps, helps with the vibe.